Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this lesson is about negative exponents. So what I want you to do is I want you to take some notes um, on the first problems with me, and then there'll be some problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, uh, you can see how you did. All right, so take a look at your notes here. And the first thing I want you to look at is this diagram up in the top in, the, in this yellow box. And notice it's one over a to the negative n equals a to the positive n. So if you notice, to go from this to this, really, the exponent travels from the denominator up to the numerator. If we want to, we could write that as over 1. All right? So let me show you what I mean by this. So here we have x squared over x to the negative third. So to rewrite this, we want to make this a positive 3, not a negative 3. So to do this, we're going to take this x to the negative third, and we're going to bring it up to the numerator, and right now as a positive x to the third. And now, when we do x to the third times x squared, that gives us x to the, the fifth, and really the, this be a one on, on the bottom. So we could say that equals x to the fifth. But the important thing is, to make this exponent a positive, we had to bring it up to the top. All right, take a look at example number two. y to the negative fourth over z to the negative second power. So this time we have two negatives, so we're gonna have to make two different moves. All right, so I'm going to draw my fraction bar, and I'm going to start with the z to the negative second power. So in order to make this a positive, I'm going to bring this up. That's going to make it now a z squared on the top. And then to make this one a positive, it has to go down to the bottom. So that'll make it now a y to the, the fourth. And there it is. All right, example, example number three, we have 10x cubed y to the negative second power over 15x to the negative third y to the seventh. Now again, 10 fifteenths can just reduce down to two thirds. All it is is just a fraction, right? This x to the third is already positive, so I'm gonna keep that there. But if you notice, this x to the negative third is on the bottom. So I need to get rid of that. I'm gonna bring that up to the top. So when we do that, that x to the third is not gonna be a positive on the top. This y to the seventh is already positive. I'm going to keep that down on the bottom. But this y to the negative second power is a negative exponent, so I have to bring that down. That's going to make that a y squared. So finally, when we simplify this, it's going to be 2, and then x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth over 3 y to the ninth. And there it is. All right, so what I want you to do is try the, the uh, problems on the next page. Uh, so pause the video. And then when you're done, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems. So number one, we have x to the seventh over x to the negative fifth power. So again, we need to make this negative five a positive. So what we're going to do that, we're going to move that up to the top. So that's going to be now x to the seventh times a positive x to the fifth, which will give us x to the twelfth. There's the first one. All right, number two, we have c to the negative fifth power over d to the fourth power. All right, so the d to the fourth power is going to stay where it is because it already has a positive exponent. But this c to the negative fifth power is going to come down. So that's going to make it now a c to the fifth, but we need to put a 1 on the top. So it's going to be 1 over d to the fourth, c to the fifth. Number three, we have 2, x to the fifth, y to the sixth, over 16, x to the negative second power, y to the negative fifth. So again, I'm first going to focus on the 2 and the 16. Those are just numbers. So that's going to reduce down to 1 eighth. And then we have x to the fifth on the top. But here we have a x to the negative second power. So I'm going to bring that up and make that a positive x to the second power, right? And then we have a y to the sixth. And then we also have this y to the negative fifth power. So I'm going to bring that up. So it's y to the fifth. So now when I simplify this, we're going to have a fraction that has 8 in the denominator. Now x to the fifth times x squared 
is x to the seventh. And then y to the sixth times y to the fifth is y to the eleventh. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?